utilitarianism. It's like ethics, but with a calculator, like aiming for the biggest splash in a pool of well-being. The action that creates the biggest ripple of happiness for the most people is the most morally correct one. It's all about maximizing happiness and achieving the greatest good for the greatest number. Nietzsche hated it, labeled it a philosophy of mediocrity, and called John Stuart Mill a flathead. The first systematic account of utilitarianism was developed by Jeremy Bentham and Mill, but the core insight motivating the theory occurred much earlier. Utilitarianism's roots trace back to hedonists like Aristippus and Epicurus who saw happiness as the ultimate good. It also draws from the consequentialist ideas of Mosey, ancient China, and the work of the Indian philosopher Santideva. Utilitarianism comes in many flavors, simply to fit everyone's needs. But it all boils down to the two main pillars. Did that spontaneous lie to avoid an awkward party actually cause greater happiness? That's act utilitarianism, the winging it of ethics. Then there's rule utilitarianism, morality's instruction manual. It's not about what feels right right now, it's about following rules that create the most good in the long run. A rule utilitarian never breaks a promise, unless there's a really detailed guideline about when it's okay. The driving force behind classical utilitarianism was a burning desire for reform. They saw a landscape riddled with outdated, unjust laws and harmful social practices. Utilitarianism for them, became the intellectual weapon to dismantle these inefficiencies and injustices, paving the way for a happier, more beneficial society. However, as an ethical system, it can struggle with prioritizing human rights in certain situations. Despite these challenges, utilitarianism's core principles influence many social systems. Its focus on maximizing happiness holds a strong intuitive appeal, suggesting that most ethical theories likely incorporate some utilitarian elements in their considerations. Tired of moral dilemmas making your head spin? Try utilitarianism for a day and see how it goes. If you enjoyed this short form video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.